Hello, my name's Harry. Welcome back to SUV Prestige. Today, I have a co-presenter. This is Big Owen. He Owen. is one of our vehicle detailing specialists amongst other little jobs mm -hmm. that he has. Um, if you follow us on Instagram and some of the likes, Owen is actually uh, responsible for some of the reels that we've been putting out recently, which, might I say myself, are very good, Owen. I'll, I'll try to pretend I know what I'm doing at least. Anyway. No, they're good. They're very, <laughs> good. they're very good. So today we're going to have a look at two proper off-roads. Mm -hmm. This one is the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. We'll tell you about that. That one is a Land Rover Defender. The better of the two. It, it isn't. It is. This is far superior. Um, Owen's going to tell you about that. I'm going to tell you about this. We're going to have a little drive out, see which one is uh, is better. And mine's got a party trick. It doesn't. What's that party trick, Harry? You're going to see. I'm going to see, OK. Yeah. I'm going to be back in a bit. Where's he going? So we just have to sit and wait for him as per usual. I'll see you in a minute. All right, mate. Have fun. Unbelievable. He's out of the way and gone. His car has got more features than this, but let's face it, you don't really need it in a serious off-roader. So this is the 2015 uh, Land Rover Defender 90, finished in Corris Grey Metallic. It's got some nice modifications on here, so it's got a twisted uh, front grille, finished in gloss black, which makes the front of the car look a little bit more aggressive, uh, along with the twisted LED headlights as well. Not only are they actually work, unlike the normal Defender headlights, uh, they, they just improve the front of the car. Gloss black roof, along with your gloss black bumpers as well, to tie in with the, uh, the black pack effect. Moving to the side, We've got, oh, what are they called? Blimbos. Blimbos. Moving to the side of the car, we have got aftermarket Blimbo 17 inch alloy wheels wrapped in BF Goodridge uh, all terrain tyres as well. Side of the vehicle, you've got your sturdy, um, what are these called? Side steps. Side steps. Sti side steps. <laughs> you've got your side steps there on the side of the car to make it a little bit easier to get in and out of. Um, and a rare option on the Defenders are the uh, side windows as well, they're quite hard to come by uh, as, as long as the ones on the top as well which just makes the interior a little bit brighter. Moving to the back of the car, we've got the obligatory Land Rover mud flaps as well and just like the Jeep, a full size uh, rear tyre as well for when you're off-road and you get a puncture as well with the blim Blimblo, as well with the Blimblo um, alloy wheels. Just open the back. We open the back up. Nice handy little step there if you're vertically challenged like me to get, uh, make it easier to get in and out of. Plenty of space in the back there. Loads of room if you're a farmer. Um, you've got a nice waterproof floor as well. So if it does get muddy, all you need to do is just rinse it out. Not a problem. This Defender does also have... Oh, how did we do these? The seats on the side. Like that, so there's plenty of room for four people as well. Um, if you do want it, the aftermarket headlining as well, the Alcantara headlining just makes it a little bit nicer inside. That's a big improvement. So, the interior of the Defender, then, um, it's not as vibrant as the one in the Jeep, but it's very multifunctional. Um, so, we have got an aftermarket uh, Alpine head unit here with Bluetooth audio and phone connectivity, air conditioning. Uh, and heated seats as well, they're standard on this, which I didn't know actually. Um, lovely Alcantara wrapped um, sun visors as well. Uh, center armrest is being wrapped in leather and Alcantara and the seats, they've also been retrimmed in leather and cloth, um, which just makes it a little bit nicer in here. Aftermarket speaker system from Focal as well, which is brilliant. Um, uh, all the buttons in the center consoles, no fancy touch screen in here, um, just big buttons exactly where you need them to be. You can use them with gloves on as well. Land Rover designed it so you could use all the switch gear with big chunky gloves on, which is good. This is a six speed manual gearbox um, powered by a two litre diesel engine as well, so it's very torquey. Just as the Jeep has, it's got a centre diff lock as well, low and high range, so there's uh, no chance of getting stuck in this. The floor as well, just like the Jeep, uh, is jet washable and uh, waterproof as well. So if you do have muddy boots in there, you just jet wash it all out. Very functional and easy. 
and that is pr that is literally it. Brought back mountains here. <laughs> Look at this! What an idiot. I ain't got any wing mirrors. You'll have to mind out a bit there, lad. See? It's broke. It's got no wing mirrors. You don't need wing mirrors. You do need wing mirrors. No, I've done that. Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that! What a buffoon. This is cool on the Lamborghini a million times over. It's class. He talks some rubbish, doesn't he? Class. Anyway. Let's talk about some of the features that he doesn't have, and I definitely do have. Unnecessary features. No, nah, they're all necessary. Listen, off-road capabilities, that might be what everyone in the UK thinks is class, but us Americans, this is the epitome of a, it's tri, what, where's that badge? It's on the door, you've taken off, exactly. You can't even show it off. There's a badge to say, this is trail certified. But no one knows that because it's in your garage at home. Listen, I'm going to drive this every day, no <laughs> roof. Right, speakers. Yes. Waterproof. Okay. You're going to need them, we know those. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Get an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Like Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah. It's class. Right, let's have a look at some features that is done after. So, mine is the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Now, Rubicon is basically Jeep's version of its most capable off-road machine. So, we have lots of very exciting specification in here for off-roading. So, uprated suspension, these 17-inch very nice alloy wheels wrapped in some BF Goodrich all-terrain tyres, which will get you out of just about every situation out there. You've got LED headlights. This colour, by the way, let me tell you this, it tells jokes, this car. This colour is Sting Grey. Stingray. Get it? Fish. <laughs> Class, right? So that. Also, I found this out. I don't know if this is true, but it's got seven slats on the front, which apparently is supposed to be of the seven continents of the Earth. Also, that theme is also repeated up here with these seven vents. There you go, bit of information for you. And you've got uh, detachable sway arms. Better wheel articulation, that's what that is. So, when you're milling about in your off-road situations, this wheel, you've probably seen it if you've ever watched like 4 before uh, videos. Sometimes they go over a big rock and they've got another rock behind it and then one of the wheels is just dangling about in the air. It's supposed to uh, minimise that happening so this wheel can drop right down, that wheel can be quite high up and it's not being restricted where it usually would be by the sway arms. That's what that does. But also, there's little Easter eggs all over the car. There's little willies everywhere. Um, there's a little willy. Willy is not um, a rude appendage on a gentleman. That is Willy's Jeep, one of the original Jeeps. So there's little emblems all over the car you'll find when you start looking. It's just a nice little nod to uh, where these things came from. Um, also, obviously, we've discussed this now, you can take everything off it, which makes it 97.6% cooler than every other car on the road, officially. So when you're into serious off-roading, there is a chance you're going to pop a tyre, something like that, full-size spare, proper BF Goodrich tyre to match the rest, obviously, reversing camera, also handy if you're manoeuvring about rocks and that you can have a little look out the back you've also got a swinging door now that might be a problem in some instances i.e in the supermarket don't worry about that drive it in forward open it up doesn't matter if you block traffic you're busy you've got stuff to do you've got one of these you're cooler than everyone else they can wait so in this you can drop the back seats, giving you a pretty substantial little space there. No idea how many litres it is, but it is enough, most definitely, to fit me in it. I would happily fit in here. Let's close that. I've got room. I'm all right in here. Comfortable. I'm out. So as well, this car is also fitted with the towing package. So just under here, you'll see a little word saying brink, um, that you attach a tow bar, which I've got it in here somewhere. Tow bar, 
slot that in, off you go. Trailers, caravans, horse boxes, whatever you fancy, you can do that with it. Also, I just learnt this word, so I'm going to use it every day like a five-year-old when they learn a new word. Typography. The mats, all weather with topography on it. That's some sort of map stuff. I think it's to tell you how much elevation there is or something. I think, I don't know. Also, this is wicked, I've just discovered this. So, underneath my typography mat, you've got a little cutout for the speaker, which is also all weather. I didn't know this little cutout existed in there, but there's your subwoofer in there. That's good, like that. I'm gonna put my typography back. <laughs> Nice bright LED lights when you're whipping about the trails with your buddies. They can see you nicely, they're not going to crash into the back here, hopefully. Found a badge. Trail rated 4x4. Jeep tell them, they, they tell you themselves, this is rated for trails. They rate it. So, he doesn't have any of this because that's rubbish. This isn't. This is modern. That's archaic. It's 25,000 years old. This has got FM, AM, DAB, Bluetooth. You've got four different aux input things there. Don't know what that's for, don't understand it, but an American will tell me sometime, I'm sure. You've got auxiliary, USB-C, USB, all the charging you need. In here, you've got satellite navigation. You can find trails in there. You've also got loads of different apps, off-road pages. These are because you're obviously going to go seriously off-roading in this thing. You can see your elevation, you can see your tilt and your angle, you see everything on there. Dead good. So look at that, your pitch, your roll, look at that. You've got your coordinates, altitude, everything, two-wheel drive. Obviously you've got your range selector down here. So two-wheel drive, that's rear wheel, um, four high, four high part-time, neutral, four low. You've got all that. Uh, all of your steering angle, sway bar connections, if you turn your sway bars off uh, accidentally um, it'll tell you on there that they are connected or not connected so you can't forget to reconnect your sway bars. Uh, yeah, and you've also got your diff locks front and front and rear lock both together which is also dead handy when you're doing serious off-roading. Also, very nice feature, we do live in the UK, I get a bit overexcited about taking the doors off uh, but you've got heated steering wheel, very nice. Heated seats also very nice. They're not electrically operated, but we're off-roading, we don't care. Cowboys don't have electric saddles, do they? We've also got screen projection, so your mobile phone, plug it in, your phone on the screen there. Then you can't get told off by the police for using your phone while you're driving, which you shouldn't be doing anyway because it's bloody dangerous. Use this. You've got these. See that little camouflage pattern in there? So you've got that camouflage thing in there, which the theme's carried out um, sort of throughout the car. The roof, which I don't have at the moment, it's off. We took it off. <laughs> but on the roof, they've got that pattern on the top in white as well. It's a nice little thing, you know, boy thing. Americans, cowboys and that, we like it. Um, this adenized aluminium looking trim, um, it's not aluminium, it's not adenized, it's plastic with some sort of stuff sprayed on it. Um, but if you're into that kind of thing, it's there and it's red. Uh, more, look, there's more of that, uh, what do you call this, the camouflage, more camouflage bits, because, you know, man, man <laughs> My hat's off. <laughs> My hat's going to be off. Your hat's going, mate. See, how much fun is this? I'm really enjoying this. When was the last time you could kick your door, your window out your door? You kick your foot out your door. <laughs> kick your foot out kick the your door. window out the door. Right, off-roading. If you want to go off-roading, you just do a bit of this. Now we are off-road. Definitely off-road. Definitely off-roading, mate. Okay. So this is testament to this car's off-road capability. This is exactly what Jeep designed it for, I think. There you go. Look, there's a bit of a bumpy bump here. Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Look at this. <laughs> this is what off-roading's all about, all ladies. about, mate. Blazing the trails. Yeah. I feel like Bear grills. Look at this. Look at us. Look at... Oh, look, we're going to get down here. Yep. <laughs> look at... We, 
blazing trails, lads. Yes! Yes! Look at this. Look, this is off-roading. Look at me. We're definitely off-roading now, mate. There is one negative to not having doors, and that's nettles. Don't so that this, is, this is proof of how good this is off-road. Look at me. I'm off-roading. Woohoo! Oh, oh hang on. <laughs> We're going to use a bit of the uh, the range down here. Bit of... Uh, bit of oh, look at that! Four-wheel drive action. That's a log. I'm not going to go any further because this, this car is for sale. We're going to be very gentle off-roading. Yes! Look at it! <laughs> and we're out. I must, I must admit, you can feel nature more when no doors on, mate. You can definitely feel it more. You smell it more. You see it more. Because everywhere I look, I can see stuff. This is our off-road uh, test for these cars. Again, they are for sale. If you want to see them going up and down boulders and cliffs and slinging about some, uh, some hardcore stuff, um, this isn't going to be the video for you. But if you want to see it whipping about on some grass, this is the one for you. Oh, yes. We're off-roading. Yes. Off-roading. Can we fit through there? So All right, we probably can. Find out. Yes! We're off road. Look at that. Oh, some dippy dippy dips. Oh. <laughs> off road. Right, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Off road capabilities. Look at that pitch and roll. Woohoo! Right, that's about as hardcore as we're getting in this, I ladies think and gentlemen. It is. <laughs> so there we go. This is us off roading, no doors. What is more outdoorsy and class as this in a car? I don't think you can get any better than this. This is why this car is better than a Defender. Because let's face it, the Defender's great off-road. We can't argue that point, but it isn't as cool as this. And off-roading ain't the same in that. I'm going up that hill. I've spotted it and we're doing it. Watch this. Watch this, let me tell you. Hill, we're up. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> I'm getting down it now. <laughs> right, this is where it gets interesting because I don't know if I can get down. <laughs> I've never done off-roading before. Do you reckon we can get down there? <laughs> There's one way to find out, mate. Fuck. <laughs> yes! No problem. Look at that! I, I'm a professional. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> that... You're a professional idiot. If that isn't a reason to buy this car, if the roof and the doors wasn't reason enough, this is sick. It's for sale. I know it wasn't that extreme, but it was extreme for me and I liked it. Um, thank <laughs> you for watching this uh, rendition of the Jeep. Time for the Land Rover. Right, now it's the Defender's turn and Harry's going to experience a proper off-roader. Yeah, it's not as good as mine. It's proper <laughs> manual gearbox. I feel very, I feel very claustrophobic. That's It'd be better be if you so could take the roof off. It wouldn't be, mate. We're not going to get any brambles on us or anything. We're just going to have a nice yeah, leisurely it's... drive out. See, real men, cowboys. Cowboys? Yeah, we don't care about brambles. You know? Nah. We're men. Proper manual gearbox, proper off Exactly, why would you want a manual? Ain't nobody got time for that. Everybody's got time for that. Mm. Off road. Off road in a second. Yeah. Go on, where we go. No messing around. Oi. Straight up. Look at that. Best change gear. There we go. See? It's a lot more uh, vicious. Rough and ready, mate. You want to feel everything when you're off-road, you know, what's the point? It's so easy to drive off-road this thing. So we 
Yeah. It's a bit of a tractor though, isn't it? It's Let's a proper it. tractor. Oi, oi. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's been the same since 1940, pretty much. Exactly. Exactly. It just works. If you go to any off-road centre, 90% of the cars there will be a Land Rover. Guaranteed. That's where they're getting wrong, they need to buy Jeeps. Oh. And all of them are dry. I'll tell you what, the headroom's... Uh... It's a lot better, isn't it? It's not good. It is. You're just a giant. Look at that. Where to now, Squire? You've got to do the reversing test. Reversing test? Reversing okay. test in the, uh, the Swamp of Doom. Easy peasy. Don't need a reversing camera for this. Good old fashioned mirrors. Look at that. Don't need mirrors. Yeah. Nice and easy, mate. <coughs> See, we're in. And I didn't get stuck on the log like you got stuck in. Mm. Yes, I didn't get it. stuck, I just needed uh, four wheel drive. Yeah, I have my, my car's got too many settings. Just so around that corner, then you've got to do the roundabout. There we go. She's straight out of the swampy bit. Is she no indeed, messing mate. about. I'll tell you what is uncomfortable. You know, if you're not wearing a seatbelt, which you should be, which you should I'll put be. my seatbelt on. Especially with your driver knowing. Trying to um, say. That chaps you in the butt cheek a little bit. Consumer advice right there. There we go. No longer jabbing me in the butt cheek. Go. Round the roundabout we go. The roundabout of death. If this car can't go somewhere, it's not worth going to. As people say about Land Rovers. Let's face it, it can go anywhere. It can go anywhere. See, th this is why Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Porsches, they're not all that. They're not all that, mate. You could do this in a Lambo, could you? Could you? No. You can't go over a speed bump in a Lambo. <laughs> I must say, I like these little windows too at the top. Yeah, go down there. Yeah. Still have them in your Jeep. Through, this, through the trees. Oh, through the trees, yeah. Okay, so there we go. No mucking about. Yes! Oh, yeah. Mighty Defender. Bumpy She's bumpy. a classic. She is a classic indeed, mate. Proper raw driving experiences. You're driving someone's a hundred year old. More. Is it? This 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 came this was uh, invented by the pharaohs when they invented the wheel. Well they built the pyramids, mate. Yeah, same they're thing. still standing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as much fun though, is it? I must admit, it is quite fun driving with no doors and windows on. Yeah, the roof. That's where uh that's where the Jeeps got it. Here. <laughs> there you go. Navigating nicely on the fault arch off roading centre. Oh, <laughs> it's a little bit more stiff than the dirt, Jeep. That was five miles an hour. Right, this bit's the bit I'm worried about. Up there? Yeah. I do have to do this bit, don't I? Yeah, just don't roll it. We won't roll it. Come on, old girl. See <laughs> I feel very high up up here, you know. Yeah, <laughs> at the last <laughs> you just hit your head. <laughs> We're gonna have a black eye after this. Not a problem. Yes! She's done it. She has indeed. Quite the world's hard. most extreme off-road experience yeah. at SUV Prestige. It's quite hard to drive a manual off-road, I need to get used to that. See, should have got an automatic. Oh, you... Oh, it's a defender, you can't. Wee! Oh, she's up. She's up. No Out mucking about. Second yes! Finger. Yes! Come on, old girl. Nice and slow down here. Easy does it. Easy does it. We're going first. Nothing's coming. <laughs> it's scary. Oh, it is a bit, isn't it? Wee! Not no a problem. problem. What's he doing? He's going. He's off. He's legging it. No indication. Why would you indicate anyway? And we are done. Right. 
So that is the video. So Jeep Rubicon, the uh, the Defender. Let's face it, they're both bloody brilliant yeah. off-road, aren't they? Yeah. They're both... Both serve the purposes very differently, but both do it brilliantly. Yeah, this one, if you've got the mind of a seven-year-old like me, you're incredibly childish, buy this. Bloody brilliant. Genuinely, this is the most fun I've had in a car. I've been quite lucky and driven lots of lots of different cars, but this is... Uh, it's just a different level of fun. Amazing. And that thing, if you uh, if you need a, a more serious, you're using it for work, or something that you're not a child in, it's probably that one, isn't it? It's a better work horse. That's probably better what you want to drive every day. Yeah. That's better as a work horse, I'd say. Yeah. But they're both good. Both brilliant cars. Both very good. But no, thank you ever so much for watching another one of our little car chat, car chat, videos car reviews car car videos, car videos yeah. with suv we'll prestige that. thank you for my friend owen here for stepping in and being a co-presenter with me today thank you mate no worries mate my pleasure it's a lot it's easier when you're not by yourself yeah yeah definitely thank you again for watching again if you're interested in either of these vehicles and they are still available you can check that on our website www.suvprestige.co.uk um, we've got more things coming, more exciting more videos, exciting so stuff. stick around, subscribe, hit bells, hit notifications, stick us a like. If, we, if there's something you want to say, say it. Uh, we're not scared. We'll see you in the next one. You can explain it to Steve, Go don't on. roll it. Don't roll it. Check if we can get down that. Probably shouldn't, should we? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's enjoying this far too much, isn't he? The point of off-roading is to... Good afternoon. The point of off-roading is to not use roads. So I'm going to get us back to where we came from, purely off-road, okay, to prove the capabilities of this car off-road. You can just see some absolute <laughs> idiot in a cowboy hat <laughs> whipping about in a jeep. Look at this. Yeah, there you go. What was that? See, speed bumps, don't need to worry about it. Good suspension, massive tyres, off roading. Who lost your keys? <laughs> was that them? <laughs> <laughs> So that's another reason why you need doors on cars. <laughs> you don't lose your car keys. Don't drive. Right, rule number one of the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. If you take the doors off, don't leave things in your pockets so they can fall out. <laughs> and another USB, and there's some bolts from taking the bloody doors off. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Uh, the very, what's the word? What is the word? <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> what's the f***ing word? Axle articulation. Axle articulation. Better, better articulate. Better, better axle articulation. Things. It's got stuff in that. and that. <laughs> things. <laughs> f***. Right, again. So I need a script no. person. Most start again. We'll fix it. Hey, hey. Now then, now then. No one do it. Right, there we go. Hidden plates, we've hidden the plates. Right. I went off-roading in this. Dro <laughs> in the grass. <laughs> I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Um, can you shut up? How much water wading you can do? USA! USA! That I will show you when we get to the trunk. The trunk. trunk. Some yeah. Boots. Top. Let me show you the and top and the trunk. And the He's third. lost the plot, officially. <laughs> Red stitching throughout, up on the dash, a little bit of leather. Not sure if that's leather. Probably is leather. Cowboys do leather, don't they? Um, America. America. Don't know what else. Oh, that is a class mullet. Oh, great work on the mullet. Hmm? That is. He's been growing that down, hasn't he? Oh. Ten points for that mullet. It's not windy at all, it's fine. It's 
just a little bit. Great mullet. Excellent uh, windshielding. They're both bloody brilliant, let's face it. I can't say bloody, he tells me off, doesn't he? He told me off for saying that. You've said Start it about again. 15 times in 